Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Anais and I make videos related to Kubernetes and the cloud native ecosystem. Now in this video, we're going to look at Helm plugins and a specific Helm plugin that I came across uh, and that just got released or announced today um, or yesterday, <laughs> uh, depending on which time zone you're talking about. Now, if you've already followed my YouTube channel for some time now, you might know that I'm a huge fan of Helm. Helm is a Kubernetes package manager of sorts. So instead of installing Kubernetes YAML manifests one by one, Helm allows you to package them up all in one Helm chart and deploy them all at once. So for example, if you have a deployment and a service and a service account and all of those related nice Kubernetes resources, or maybe even a huge chunk of custom resource definitions, you can all package them up in a Helm chart and you can deploy them as one. You can also save Helm charts to a Helm registry. It's similar to a container registry, just those are Helm charts. And then you can use other people's Helm charts from their registries and install them. And this is how most of the cloud native applications are installed. And that's how I would install a cloud native application as my preferred way. Now up there is the tutorial for introduction to Helm. There's also an amazing book by the maintainers. Link below, I'm not sponsored, but I really liked the book. I thought it was very informative. So what are Helm plugins? Helm plugins are basically a way to extend Helm. They are not actually most of the time installing something within your cluster when you use the Helm plugin. It's just a way to like add to Helm itself, separate to Kubernetes in that sense. Um, now there's a list of Helm plugins that you can find here. These are not all of them. You can also find a lot of them through GitHub. Now, I never really used Helm plugins, even though I knew they existed. Um, but then my friends at Commodore actually sent me over the new Helm plugin that they developed, which is the Helm dashboard. So the Helm dashboard basically allows you to view all of your Helm charts related resources in a really pretty dashboard. It just got released. I think it's pretty amazing because it's otherwise really difficult to get detailed information of your different Helm charts and to use them properly. So we can view all of our Helm charts, either through Helm commands and or kubecon commands, for example, Helm list dash dash all dash namespaces gives us all of the different Helm charts that we have installed, their versions and similar in that um, Kubernetes cluster. Now we could dig through it through, for example, kubecon or Helm. I'm usually using K9S to view all of my different Kubernetes resources. And I can go here to Helm. In this case, I already went here to Helm. And I can see all of the different Helm charts I have installed. Now, similarly, I can go per namespace. For example, I installed a Trivi operator Helm chart and it's in the Trivi system namespace. So I can also filter here Helm and just see the Trivi operator. Now I could go and see all of the YAML resources that got installed as part of it. I can go on describe and it will basically give me the comments of that Helm chart, and how to use it, for example, and similar. However, it doesn't really give me all of the information. I have to know how to navigate um, K9S in this case to get more information, more details on Helm, on those Helm charts. So what I can do instead is use a plugin like this. It was developed by Commodore. Commodore is an automated uh, Kubernetes troubleshooting platform or automated Kubernetes troubleshooting basically through their platform. Um, I have a video on how to use Commodore, uh, which I got did nearly a year ago. And it basically shows how Commodore works. It's linked up there as well, if you're curious. Now they developed this Helm dashboard. So you can install it through Helm plugin install. And I have already installed it, so this will not work. But on a regular basis, you want to do Helm plugin update dashboard or update all of your plugins um, since they might have new releases or updates, right? And then once you have updated your dashboard, let's give it a second. You can do Helm dashboard as a command and it's gonna open up our Helm dashboard on localhost. Now the Helm dashboard will first of all list all of the different Helm charts that you have installed inside of your current cluster. Now you can also check out the other clusters. I don't have the other clusters running right now. So just stay on this one for now. And you can see for example, the trivia operator. And as part of that, we can see the different resources in the trivia operator Helm chart. And then we can select manifests 
and we can see here all of the manifests that got installed alongside it. So for example, secret service account and the values. This is a really important part because usually when you're installing Helm chart, you want to modify the values that it's using um, to work, the different configurations. So you could actually have a look really easy under YAML, well, YAML format values um, of how that Helm chart got configured. And then the notes is basically um, the comments at the end that you get when you install the Helm chart. Then you can see any differences with the previous versions that got installed. And that again is really, really useful for, for example, something like values when you change values. Um, you can reconfigure it. So you can update, for example, the values directly through this UI as well, um, <laughs> which is pretty amazing then you can also uninstall it through the UI. Now, something else you can go do when you go to resources, and I'm going to go to a different Helm chart. So let's scan the Prometheus chart. Let's scan here our deployment for security issues. Now, they've used under the hood Trivi. Trivi is the all-in-one security scanner. Uh, it does a lot of different scans. It's also used within the Trivi operator chart. Um, as the name says. So here we have our deployments, our Prometheus Grafana deployment, and it's just loading it. Once it's loaded, we want to actually scan it for any security issues, such as misconfiguration issues, exposed secrets uh, related, or vulnerabilities. So here we can see our list of vulnerabilities. Now, most of these already have a fix available. Um, can see the different vulnerabilities and here we can see our misconfiguration issues in that container image similarly you can scan your application directly through this ui as well for security issues so let's say you have your application installed and you have the trivia operator helm chart installed um, you can scan it directly through the ui here now the trivia operator helm chart comes here directly from the Trivia Operator Repository, you go to the documentation, getting started, and here you find the Helm installation. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but I also have videos on it. Now, going back to the dashboard here, you can also see the different Helm repositories, Helm registries uh, that you have connected to Helm, uh, to your Helm CLI. So, for example, in the Aqua repository, we have the Trivia Operator. And as you can see, since there's a tick, it's installed and we can actually view it. We can also see the different Helm charts that are in that repository as well. Um, similarly, we could go to, let's see, Prometheus Community, to their Helm charts. And we can see a list of their Helm charts. As you can see, there are lots of Helm charts within the Prometheus Community. And this is pretty much all of it. Like always, I really hope this video was useful and I gave you some new insights into tools that you might or might not have been using yet. If you really enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and a yay. Subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. If you haven't already, it would mean a lot to me. Now, I also have a Slack community where I share on a regular basis updates, content from across the space where you can also share, where I invite you to share your own content or content that you come across that you find interesting or ask questions related to my content or things in this space. I really hope to see one of my upcoming videos. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.